Hi, I am John and I am so happy to have you here. Over the past few days, I have been overwhelmed by your amazing feedback and interaction. It really motivates us and I am super excited to walk you through the Zoody Rigging Toolbox 4.0. We will cover everything from preparing your artwork, renaming layers for rigging, assigning joints, setting the number of spine bones, partial rigging, and rigging stroke-based limbs. Let's dive in. First, go to the 2D Rigging Toolbox. If you see the Gear Me Up button is enabled, that means that your artwork needs to be prepared. Just click on it and your artwork is ready for rigging. So first of all, let's rename the character. Let's open the UI interface. Then I will select each layer. You can use Alt right click to select any layer, then start renaming. The script also supports batch renaming, so you can select all layers and rename them at once. Let's rename the hand group as the script will use layer binding for the hand group layer. But I renamed the sub layers to keep things organized. Let's continue by renaming the rest of the layers. Now let's rename the head layers. Renaming the head layers is one of the most crucial steps. The head rigging system depends entirely on the layer names. The script looks specifically for layers like eyebrows, pupils, and nose. If any of these layers are missing or not properly renamed, the script will not generate the corresponding bones. That's why renaming the head layers correctly is essential. Also keep in mind that auto binding relies on correct naming. If you forget to rename a layer, you will notice later that it behaves strangely or doesn't bind properly. Don't worry, you can rename the layer at any time and simply run auto binding and it will fix itself instantly. Back to the renaming, let's rename all the hand layers. We renamed all the layers. After renaming the layers, you will need to assign the joints. Let's use full body rig this time. So I will click on the joint and click on the corresponding joint in the UI. After assigning all the joints, click on Create Skeleton and the Auto Binding checkbox, then click Apply. Give it 3 to 5 seconds, and you will see your character fully rigged. Let's test this rig. As you can see, it's working pretty good. Let's check the point binding for the pelvis. As you can see, the script did a very good job in binding the points to the spine and the shoulder bones. We tried to make it as accurate as possible, but you might need to refine some binding points. For the eyebrows, you may need to slightly reposition and rotate the eyebrow bones after adjusting them, run the auto binding one more time. Now let's test the eyebrow binding. Perfect, they are working exactly as expected. We connected all the bones of the head to a controller, so you can control them as a group while creating smart actions. 
Let's test the binding of the head. The pupil working great and the eyebrows are working perfectly. Great, we created this trick in less than five minutes. Now I want to show you another feature. Let's delete all the bones. Go to the 2D rigging toolbox. And let's change the number of spine bones. Now click on create skeleton, auto binding and click apply. That's it. Your skeleton is updated with the new spine bones. And if you go to the chest layer, you will see that the binding updated to the new bones. Let's see how to create a poucher rig. Go to the 2D rigging toolbox and instead of choosing full body rigging, choose head rig. The head rig doesn't require any joint assignment, but it will use the layer naming to create the head rig. Check the create skeleton and the auto binding. Click apply and you will need to adjust the eyebrows bones. Then you can use the auto binding one more time to make sure that the points are binded correctly. In this case, I needed to rebind a point in the right eyebrow, while the auto binding worked perfectly on the left eyebrow. Generally, auto binding is around 90% accurate, which saves you a lot of time. Still, it's always worth rechecking and testing, as you may need to make a few refinements. Let's rig the arm. Choose arm rig from the menu. The tool will check which arm you have assigned and will create the bones for that arm. You can create both arms at once or create one arm at a time. But it's very important to reset the joints before rigging the second arm. If you don't, the script will detect the previous joints and create duplicated bones for the same arm. Resetting clears the old data and prevents duplication. This time, let's rig both legs together. First, reset the joints, then from the drop-down menu, choose leg rig. Assign the joints. Check create skeleton and auto binding, apply. Let's check if everything is working perfectly. Great. Okay, I wanna show you another thing. Uh, let's delete all the bones and I already assigned the joints. So uh, let's create a full body this time and auto bind, okay. The script builds the skeleton and if I test it, everything is working perfectly. But what if you don't like where the neck joint starts? Right now it's positioned too high. If I try to adjust it by scaling or moving bones directly, even at frame zero, it will break the rig and cause problems. The arms and other bones won't align properly and fixing it manually would take a lot of time. So here is the easy way to fix it. First select all bones and delete them. You will notice a circle left behind. That circle represents the starting point of the neck joint. Simply move it to the position you want. Next, go back to the 2D rigging toolbox and click reset joints. This step is very important because the script will always try to use any assigned joint if they exist. Resetting clears them out, so the script will instead use the position from the joint layer. Now, 
When I create the skeleton again, the rig is generated with the new neck position. You can do the same adjustment for the pelvis if you want to move it higher or lower. This won't affect the arms or legs. They stay in place. Now let's take a look at the eyebrows. They need a small fix by rotating the eyebrow bones and running auto binding again. It's also important that your character artwork has enough points in the right places. For example, if the torso doesn't have points around the chest, the body won't deform when those bones rotate. It will move stiffly almost like one solid piece. To fix this, just add a few extra points where deformation should occur, so the movement will look much more natural. Alright, let's try rigging this stroke based character using the 2D rigging toolbox. As you can see, all the limbs are created with strokes, and even the eyebrows are made from strokes. Looking at the pupil, both are placed on the same layer, so we need to separate them for the 2D rigging toolbox to generate pupil bones correctly. Let's duplicate the pupil layer and delete the left pupil from a layer and delete the right pupil from the other. Next, let's double check the eyebrows. They are already on separate layers. Now let's look at the legs. Each leg is made from just two points so we need to add a knee point I will add one here on the first leg and in the same position on the other leg now both legs have knees defined let's check the arms if they have elbow point now let's rename the layers properly we already covered renaming in the previous characters the only change in this character you will not have knee or elbow layers with layers renamed let's move on to joint assignments Click on each point in the artwork and match it with the corresponding joint in the UI. Repeat for the arms and legs. Now we are ready to create the skeleton, but let's first check on the checkbox of single layer for the arm and single layer for the leg. Check create skeleton and auto binding and click apply. Wait a moment and the rig is ready. Let's test it. Let's hide the shy bones so we don't rotate them accidentally. Now let's fine tune the eyebrows. Go to frame 0 and rotate the eyebrow bones to get the right orientation. Remember you can always add extra bones and apply custom rigging if you need the special controls. The 2D rigging toolbox is designed to enhance your workflow not limit your creativity. And that's it, a fully rigged stroke based character using the 2D rigging toolbox 4.0. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. If you have any question, drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching, I'm John and I will see you in the next tutorial.